Have you ever watched any scene in the movies where someone falls out of a plane? Then suddenly he opens his parachute and manages to land safely? If you look closely, you will see there is a hole in the middle of the parachute. Parachutes are designed to create as much drag as possible. So why do parachutes have holes in them? When a person falls to the ground, the Earth's gravitational force accelerates them. This would be the only force acting on them in a vacuum. Gravity isn't the only force at work on most individuals on Earth because they don't fall through a vacuum. The faster they move, the more air molecules they slam down on their path to the ground. The push of the body against those air molecules provides as a counterforce. Air resistance acts as a counterforce. The faster gravity accelerates the person, the more air resistance they encounter. The more air resistance they encounter, the slower they fall. Eventually, an equilibrium is reached between the downward acceleration caused by gravity and the upward push caused by air resistance. This is called terminal velocity. It's the point at which a body will fall no faster. For a free-falling human without a parachute, terminal velocity lives up to its name in more ways than one. Few people survive a long fall to the ground. Enter the parachute. It spreads out over a huge area, causing a falling person to displace much more air as they fall. Since more air molecules are being shoved down by the fabric of the parachute, the parachute and the person attached to it get pushed upwards in return. The equilibrium of terminal velocity is once again reached, but this time it's a velocity that's survivable, all because of the drag of the parachute. So if drag is so critical, and pushing down as much air as possible is the key to slowing a fall, round parachutes with holes don't make sense. The holes let air to pass through and continue its way without slowing down the jumper. When you see laundry hung out on the line on a windy day, it's easy to see why parachutes have holes. The wind will lift a huge sheet of fabric. It billows in the middle, resembling a parachute, thanks to a gentle breeze. The sheet will begin to move more wildly as the wind increases. In the wind, one corner will first flap outwards, then the other. As a result, the sheet will start to twist in one direction, then the other. The more violent the wind, the more the sheet will twist, as each corner flaps out to relieve the wind's pressure. In short, the hole is there for stability reasons to stop the parachute from flapping erratically and collapsing. Allowing air through doesn't technically make you fall more slowly, but it makes the parachute work as intended. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.